Good evening, guys. Welcome to Life Apollos. Happy to have you here. If you're a brand new viewer, you picked an insane day to tune into our channel. Uh, we have so many crazy headline stories, we couldn't even fit it in the title. In tonight's episode alone, we're talking about massive fines for Street Speed 717, Amelia Hartford's C8 world record broken, and her response, and whistle and diesel news. I've got like three stories there. I don't even know what to say, guys. It's going to be an insane evening. Thank you for tuning tuning in and supporting our channel. Make sure to like the video right away. It helps us get a lot more visibility in the algorithm and we can't do it without you. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, Beard Nation, welcome to the show. All right, first up today, guys, uh, one of our main headline stories of the day having to do with Street Speed 717. It appears that the massive fallout from the jumping TRX videos over the creek has finally hit. Multiple news outlets today reporting that there has been a version of of a settlement in some of those 18 criminal counts he was charged with, including disturbance of waterways and watersheds, misuse of property and waters, and littering and polluting waters. This according to the York Daily Record, saying that on Tuesday, uh, Street Speed 717 was in York County Court, where he was accepted into the ARD program. Now, I had never heard of an ARD program. We had to look it up. Apparently, it stands for Accelerated Rehabilitative Disposition Program. Now, apparently, if he completes that program within one year, his record will be wiped clean. That's a pretty big deal considering the 18 criminal counts against him uh, based on the original videos, which are no longer on YouTube. Uh, he was also ordered, and this is really crazy guys, to pay $53,000 in restitution, which has already been paid to repair the damage to the creek. Who knew that creek damages could be so expensive? Uh, the York Daily Record has a quote from Mike at the end of their article uh, saying, I had no idea it was illegal to drive through a creek, Mike says. I'm an outdoors guy. I hike and I've never even littered in my life. I'm not the type to destroy natural resources. Uh, he also said that there were six or seven others at the event, but he was the only one charged, saying that he was an easy target and that he won't be driving in a creek anytime soon. Now, obviously, this is a pretty crazy uh, ending or outcome to some of the videos that were so viral and really reinvigorated the Street Speed 717 channel. 500,000 to a million views on some of those original Ram TRX videos. Uh, you have to ask, you know, is it worth it to pay 53 grand if you're going to get all that exposure? Uh, I feel like sometimes uh, paying a fine like that can be worth it in terms of getting publicity, but I want to ask you guys what you think about that, and if you thought that the punishment was too severe for what you saw in the original videos before they were deleted. And just so you guys know, uh, I confirmed with Street Speed 717 uh, that all the details that we talked about in the video based based on the article were indeed correct. Anyway, let me know what you guys think about that in the comments below and on to our next headline story. Next up guys, uh, Amelia Hartford. Uh, obviously over the last year or so, we have covered with great interest all of her CA journeys uh, from taking delivery of the car to turning it into a world record holder at the drag strip in terms of the quarter mile. And all within the course of the last 24 hours, that particular storyline with her C8 has gained a lot of new threads. For one, her new video, which went live a couple hours ago entitled We Demolished the World Record Highest Horsepower Twin Turbo C8 Corvette on Planet Earth it is pretty amazing. They had numbers well over a thousand horsepower. I won't spoil the final number, uh, but that was a really big deal. But during the same time frame, we had something even crazier happen. I got to make sure I get the details right here, so I'm going to read it, guys. Uh, Extreme Turbo Systems, a tuner based in Vancouver, Washington, was recently able to set a quarter mile time of, get this, 9.05 seconds at 159 miles an hour while testing a customer car, beating the previous record set by Amelia Hartford back in June of 2021. Now, Extreme Turbo Systems does have a video of this run up, so you guys can go watch it yourself. Uh, but apparently their time of 9.05 at 159 is 0.31 seconds quicker and 12 mile an hour faster than Hartford's best run, in case you were curious how close it was. Right after Amelia Hartford's video, went live, she actually pinned this statement to her YouTube video saying, also huge congrats to ETS on their quarter mile world record at 9.05. This was shot before they released that record. But here's why I think this is actually a really good thing for Amelia Hartford's channel. I think that having someone else beat her C8 record and the brand new horsepower numbers that they have recorded just in today's video means we're going to get a storyline where she's pushing hard to take that record back. And obviously we still have 
love TJ Hunt to throw into the equation too, so get ready for some incredible C8 action moving forward. It's gonna be a crazy couple of weeks, guys. Buckle up, make sure to tune in because the C8 race just got a lot more interesting. Next up, guys, a couple different stories on Whistle and Diesel. As you'll know, yesterday we covered the fact that we thought Whistle and Diesel was buying uh, the mud truck from Cletus McFarlane, and today we got a new video from Cletus. Says, sold my mud truck and the new owner had a strange request. Uh, basically doing a little bit of damage to it. It's at the end of the video if you want to go check it out. And hinted that we would be seeing that particular mud truck on YouTube again very soon. And then just after that video went live, we got a couple new Instagram posts from Whistle and Diesel. The one you're looking at right now, uh, showing uh, a particular truck towing a ton of tires, uh, saying what the heck could these be for? Monster Max already has tires. Even Gara getting on making a comment just saying unsure with a bunch of eyes afterward. That all but confirms what we were talking about yesterday. Uh, so get ready for some crazy stuff on the Whistle and Diesel channel, guys. I think it's gonna be pretty intense. Additionally, more good news for the Whistle and Diesel fam only fans has actually uh, revived or retracted their ban on spicy, explicit material over the last 24 hours, uh, making assurances to the people that built OnlyFans into what it is today that they'll be continued to live their lives and uh, use their accounts the way they see fit. As you guys know, uh, when OnlyFans made that announcement about banning that particular type of material, uh, we theorized, as did many others, that that move could potentially ruin the site and sort of drive it the way of Tumblr being worth nothing over the course of an next couple years. But their 180 on the issue seems to quell that particular worry for now. And the news doesn't stop there, guys. Stradman is next. Title of his latest video, buying a $100,000 new daily driver. You have two seconds to go check it out if you don't want to get this spoiled for you. And it's a TRX. Like we theorized, we thought it was going to be a TRX or a Trackhawk. It turns out it was a TRX. So we were right on the money there. Obviously, there are very few cars out there with over 700 horsepower stock, so it was pretty easy to guess. But make sure to go check it out. It's a heartwarming video uh, filled with the rest of the Strad fam. I think you guys will really enjoy it. And congratulations to Stradman on another crazy truck for his growing car collection. I feel like he buys a six-figure car just about every single month now. Crazy to think about that. And because some of you guys referenced this or recommended it rather in the comments section of some of our latest videos, let's talk about Throttle. Uh, one of their latest videos and one of the first ones that I've really seen from them is called Building a Wide Body 2020 Toyota GR Supra Wheel Reveal and Street Hunter Body Kit is complete. So I don't know much about this channel. A lot of you guys have recommended it to me and so I'm starting to check it out. This is the first video that I clicked on and I think it's fantastic. So go check it out and I'm gonna do my best to get up to speed on Throttle as fast as I can. It seems like a very quality channel from my first exposure to it, thanks to whoever recommended that to me. I can't recall, but I really do appreciate it. It's so crazy that we have even crazier news to talk about. I'll talk about Shmi's latest video, guys. New Tesla Plaid, my first drive and fastest quarter mile drag races. Uh, like we talked about and like we theorized, initially when the car came out, this uh, particular vehicle, the Plaid, was going to have a massive imprint on how automotive YouTube handles these sorts of things. And, and we're seeing it on Shmi's channel. And he really talked about that particular aspect of the fame of the Plaid and how it's demolishing cars in the quarter mile uh, in the early parts of his video. If you want to see Shmi's take on the Plaid as well as his reactions while driving it, I would highly recommend this video. Just fantastic stuff. Also, I have sort of another mini congratulations to Sam Crack. His latest video was called I Bought an As Is V12 Ferrari with 100k miles and got 90% off MSRP from a Las Vegas auction. Uh, we don't talk about Sam Crack's channel enough, but he has a fantastic channel, very similar to like Tavarish or very similar to like how Tavares runs his channel or like even Hoovy's Garage to a degree. Uh, lots of humor, lots of really interesting builds. Go check this out, guys. Uh, crazy, we'll call it like a deal on a V12 Ferrari. Uh, I, think you'll, I think you'll really enjoy the video. And if you've never checked out Sam Crack's channel before, this is a great place to start. And speaking of uh, rebuilt Ferraris, let's talk about Ed Bolian on VinWiki's latest video called My Flood Ferrari 599 is proving impossible to rebuild. 
Uh, so Ed Bullion talks about how uh, he likes to find cars that have a lot of use, so you don't have to worry about crazy depreciation and you can sort of enjoy it more. Uh, that's generally been the way that I handle my cars as well, although I don't think I'm brave enough to buy a Flood 599 like Ed Bullion was. Uh, but he kind of chronicles how everything is uh, either working or not working with the rebuild of this car. And I think you'll find it really fascinating, obviously, Ed Bullion Crazy Car Collection. And some of them are sort of like, uh, we'll call them diamonds in the rough or just sort of rough in the rough. Go check it out. You'll like this video for sure. <sighs> and finally today, let's talk about the drag race from Car Wow. If you're a Porsche fan, it's going to be right up your alley. It's called New Porsche 911 GT3 versus GT3 RS 992 versus 991. Uh, if there is a closer race in Car Wow's history, I can't remember what it is. I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, Porsches for me have never been like uh, the biggest sought after cars, but I have a lot of appreciation for what they're able to do at the track and at the drag strip. Go check it out, guys. Car Wow, killer video on this to be sure. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, apologies if I talk a little bit fast today. We had a lot to go over and I try to give you the news as fast as we can. So thanks so much for watching in, guys. And a reminder, because every once in a while we get comments about like, hey, you know what, you took six minutes to get to the particular topic. We have timestamps on every single video that we do so you can easily navigate all the stories. And if you're just here for Emilio or Street Speed 717 or Whistle and Diesel, you can click right to it immediately. That's why we put it there. So those comments obviously aren't seen and I wanna make sure I remind people as much as possible. <sighs> okay, uh, thanks a lot for watching guys. Have a great rest of your day. Make sure to stay safe, sane and healthy. Merch drop coming soon. It's gonna be very different than a lot of other people's merch drops. Um, it's gonna be something kind of fun and humorous and different and I hope you guys like it. Anyway, have a great day. See you later. Bye.